I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. At the heart of their concerns, this query has often loomed large and loud. Why are you speaking about the war, Dr. King? Why are you joining the voices of dissent? Peace and civil rights don't mix, they say. The nonviolent resistor not only avoids external physical violence, but he avoids internal violence of spirit. He not only refuses to shoot his opponent, but he refuses to hate him, and he stands with understanding goodwill at all times. How long? Not long. Because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. Yes, sir. And these great experiences are not based on a bargaining relationship, not an if faith, but a though faith. And I'm coming to my conclusion now. I want to say to you this morning, my friends, that somewhere along the way, you should discover something that's so dear, so precious to you, so eternally worthful, that you will never give it up. You ought to discover some principle. You ought to have some great faith that grips you so much that you will never give it up. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land.